it's Monday the 19th I Feb. I have four weeks until Matt comes home. I wasn't going to film today. I did film a short, if I can link it above, I will. But anyway, <laughs> I was just going to get out and run with Storm. I've had the half term break with my daughter. So obviously I've not been able to get out and run. And I'm just going to be honest, like I've really been struggling up here. I just needed to go for a run. I'm so grateful that I can do this. I'm so grateful that my body now has the option to just go for a run, whether that's for 20 minutes or two hours. It doesn't matter. Like I have the ability to go out and run and I always feel better. And I've just ran with Storm. He lasted longer than he has in previous runs. <laughs> we just kept going, to be honest. He did slow down quite a lot in the last sort of 10 minutes he was running behind me but he did very well we've just been out for about an hour nearly an hour the whole time i just kept hearing in my head i already feel so much better so for a week of negative thoughts and beating myself up and really just being not nice i think it's a mixture of like I put a lot of pressure on myself for my job, mum Gil, i love vlogging and doing these vlogs this is my hobby and i don't know sometimes i feel guilty about that as well why <laughs> but today marks five months that i've been alone without my husband i also only four weeks before he left four or five weeks before he left moved to the middle of nowhere and i'll be honest i'm not settling very well here I much much preferred my previous posting being alone for five months I think it's just got a bit too much now. I've been an army wife for, I'm going into year eight now. This is my fourth home. <laughs> Having Storm is an absolute godsend. He's the best decision I made. We got Storm about four weeks into our first posting. I knew I needed to have a dog in the house. And today Lucy is thanking past Lucy for making that decision of getting the dog because he's my mate, he's my, he's my boy, and he's my company at the end of the day when Matt's away and he's really really helped me to keep running if I didn't have Storm it would be a lot more difficult for me to get up and go running in when I'm in those mentally bad places and and when I just can't be bothered anyway because you know just being human you always look for comfort you seek that comfort and running isn't exactly comforting or comfortable at times happy Wednesday <laughs> I am at this moment working but i might be able to go for a run tomorrow on a thursday who do i think i am <laughs> no i'm waiting to find out if um i'm gonna have a little bit of childcare for like an hour tomorrow for the next few weeks every thursday like i have been i thought it was gonna finish last week but um it might be carrying on so i'm like waiting for the email to find out if I'm gonna have an extra hour after I finish work on a Thursday <laughs> and I'm on edge. <laughs> so I will let you know a bit later on if I've got that so we can celebrate together. <laughs> okay, update, it is the next day. Yes, I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm working again. Ignore me, I'm a millennial. So the update is I have just rung them. Basically, it starts as she finishes school and then I will be picking her up later and it's now 11.40 and I still don't know if I'm gonna be having this childcare today or not. So <laughs> I rang and I said, hey, I haven't heard anything. I'm assuming that um, she hasn't got a place. And um, the lady said, oh, we are getting the emails out soon. So keep an eye out. Um, I can't tell you whether she has or hasn't, but keep an eye out for the email. <laughs> so I'm still waiting for an email. <laughs> it's five minutes later and she didn't get a place. Okay, no running today, but tomorrow. We are running tomorrow. It's Friday now, and I'm actually four miles in to a 10k run. We did it, we got out, we ran. Whew, okay, back now. I did film a run with me for this run today. Uh, I don't know if that's going to go up before this or after this. I don't know, I haven't made my mind up yet. I did 10k, I set out to do 10k, and I did 10k, so that's... Uh, 
that's definitely a win because that doesn't always happen, you know? Let's be realistic, especially online with each other. You set out to do something and sometimes it's just not possible. You just haven't got it in you today and that's okay. If you're giving 100% every single time, that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get the same results from your 100%. For example, if you only have 30% battery in you when you woke up that morning and you've used 30% on your workout, you've used 100% of what you could have given. And I say your best is gonna look different every day. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Today, my best was getting done what I set out to do. <laughs> I think it went quite well, actually, considering Storm set off super fast. The first mile was sub 9.30. I think it was 9.23 for the mile. And for your first mile in a 10K run to be the quickest mile out of the whole thing, and also a quicker mile than you would do just in general, <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. Me, I just can't sustain even being out and physically moving my legs if I'm burnt out. But I'm getting better, you know. I think... The downside of running with Storm was that he obviously makes me run quicker in the beginning and I can't pace myself from the get-go. At the same time, if I think back five months ago when I took Storm out, our first few runs, I did burn out and I did only do half an hour and I would come home with him um, and I wouldn't go back out. Well, I mean, I did sometimes, but I got really burnt out is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> For me today, I coped really well with him in those first two and a half miles and I got out and I went again and yes I did struggle and I set off again on my own but I very quickly got into the swing of things and yes it was hard yes I was working my body and I, I mean look at me I was definitely working hard but it was manageable and I could cope and I've just ran 10k because I decided to do that about 30 minutes before I left <laughs> if you've lasted this long in this video. I've purposely waited <laughs> until the end because I want my real virtual running buddies to answer this question. <laughs> the people who watch my videos consistently, I've had an idea and I've been wanting to do this for probably a year. I've been wanting to do this, maybe even longer. I want to be uploading more videos. I just don't really, I haven't been able to get a system in place to try and make that happen. I want to do every week a standalone video. The content that I'm putting out now, I want to keep putting out, but I also want to do a second video where I just do a weekly vlog, where I just show you my week, similar to what I've done here, but include a bit more than just my workouts. It will be mainly my workouts, but you know what I'm saying, a weekly vlog on top of a run with me. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you would be interested in, and let me know if that's something I should pursue, because before I had a big break, from vlogging, you wouldn't have noticed I had the break because I was trying to get myself ahead. So I was able to do two videos a week. I ended up being four weeks ahead. I scheduled my videos and I had four weeks of videos scheduled in. And then a few life things happened and I actually needed to take a step away from the camera. I wasn't in a great mental headspace and I didn't want to capture that and have that on my channel. But because I've had that break, I'm now training back behind. So, but I did think, I'm gonna ask you guys, cause I mean, yes, I want to put up things I enjoy doing, but I also want to put up things that you guys are gonna enjoy watching. So anyway, long story short, would you be interested in weekly vlogs? Is it something I should continue to try? and get done. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you need a virtual running buddy. I am feeling so much better than I was previously. Honestly, running and moving my body and getting a workout done is the medication that I needed to get myself back to where I needed to be. Anyway, love you guys. See you soon. Bye.